my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, we are going to make some bacon slice thumbprint cookies. They're kind of like little bars that you just slice up. The middle is filled with jam. The outer is real buttery. It's just like a thumbprint cookie, but in slices. Real delicious. Real pretty to have on your cookie tray presentation, and they are delicious. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura, where I post cooking and baking videos at least twice a week. If you enjoy my content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And also, go follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay guys, let's get started. Alrighty, here we have the stand mixer. You can do this by hand if you want. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our flour, our baking powder, and our salt, and we're just going to give this a little mix, just to incorporate everything. Okay, that should be good. We are going to start the recipe by creaming the butter. The butter is at room temperature. Very important for this recipe and the egg. We are gonna add the butter and the sugar and we're gonna cream this for about two minutes. Okay guys, sorry, I wasn't recording. I added the egg and the vanilla and I scraped everything off the bottom. And we are going to mix this again for about another minute or so, making sure everything is real creamy. All right, everything is nice and creamy. We're gonna start adding the flour a little bit at a time. Try to get everything off the hook here. Okay, let's add in some flour. And go slow. Okay, that is ready. I'm gonna beat the rest or mix the rest in by hand, and I'm gonna transfer you over to the counter where we will finish these off. All right, we are going to lay our dough here on the cutting board, and I just put a little bit of flour on the cutting board just so that it doesn't get sticky. Okay, we're gonna shape this. And we're gonna cut it into four equal parts. And what we need to do with this is we're gonna roll it out. This is kind of sticky, so you just have to be gentle with it. Okay. And make sure it's not sticking. You have to add flour. Go ahead and add flour. Okay, I hope you can see. I'm gonna keep just a little bit of flour here. Okay, so now we have that rectangle. And in the center, I take a very small spoon. You can use the back of a wooden spoon. I'll probably use this better so you can see this better. And just press it down in the middle. It doesn't have to be too deep, just like that. I'll dust off this flour so we don't get that flour, too much flour. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the flavor of your choice. This is apricot uh, jam. You can put pineapple, strawberry, whatever you like, whatever your family likes. And we're gonna scoop it down the middle here. That's done. Now we're gonna take, I have a cookie sheet with the parchment paper, and I'm gonna set it down right here. We're just gonna transfer it over to the cookie sheet, just like that. And if it messes up on you, that's okay. Just, you know, try to reshape it and that's it. If the dough is too sticky for you, just pop it into the refrigerator and let it firm up a little bit and move on to the next one. Okay, so here's the first one. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Transfer this. Okay, there's all of them. I am going to pop this in a preheated 350 degree oven. I will tell you the time as soon as they come out. Everybody's oven is different, so you just want to make sure and keep an eye on them. Okay, I will be back. All right, everybody. The cookies are out of the oven. I've had them sitting here for about 10 minutes or so. Let me give you a close-up so you can see what they look like. Okay, they do spread a little bit. 
And what we do when they get out of the oven, when they're out of the oven, they're a little soft, so you really don't want to move them around too much. I take my, my cookie and I angle it and just cut it into angle slices, just like that. About an inch wide. Okay, and then I'm just gonna place them up here on my little tray here. We'll figure out a way to fix them up. And then I'm gonna show you the center so you can see how flaky it is. Nice and buttery. Look at that. And of course the ends, the cook gets to keep those. Mm -hmm. Let's do a red one. And then of course once they cook completely, then you can box them if that's what you like. And look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? And so pretty. All right, everybody, here is the tray of cookies. Look at that, all that color. And we're gonna give one of these a taste. I'm gonna pick this uh, orange, sweet orange marmalade. They're so delicious and crunchy and crispy. I already showed you the layers. Mmm, 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 so buttery and flaky and then just a little touch of that jam. These cookies are wonderful. I hope you give these a try. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for the video for today. The recipe and all the items I used will be in the description bar below. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and share with family and friends. Okay, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.